Well, we first discovered the process, as you know, when we first met, uh, in yeast cells, think, you know, the microorganism that makes bread and beer. Um, so we're going back now 25 years. So we've been doing this for a while. And this paper that we just published uh, in January in Cell was the culmination of 64 scientists around the world, 13 years of work. So we've been doing this for a while. And so we actually, we, we spun out a company from my lab, uh, Life Biosciences, that has been doing studies to get us to age reversal in humans. Uh, the mouse studies have been going on for many years. We were able to cure blindness in mice, glaucoma, old age, nerve crush. Uh, curing blindness turns out not to be that difficult once you know how to reset aging. And when you reset aging in the tissues, they rejuvenate, they can heal. We can even reverse aging in a, a mouse's brain and recover the ability to learn. And even now we're discovering recover lost memories from before. But you're, you want to know how close are we to that? Well, we just uh, two days ago released uh, publicly, spoke publicly that we've reversed aging in the eyes of non-human primates, our closest cousins. And so it looks like this universal process of age resetting in the body uh, is conserved from yeast to mice to primates. Now, if it doesn't work in us, then we've done something wrong. But I'm pretty optimistic that it should work at least in the eye. And then the future would be, where do we go from there? And we're looking at the brain and hearing and then lower below the neck. <laughs>